Hi guys, it's Jim here with Nature Lover. I am back. I wanted to show you guys my collection of peperomias. Um, I don't know all of the name of the peperomias, but I will try my best to um, give you guys the name, okay? So this is sitting here on my coffee table. I'm just gonna slide down here so you can get an overview. And here's what it looks like. I'm gonna get in closer and uh, show you guys each individual plants. Because they are all unique and beautiful and different in its own natural way. All right, let's start with this guy. Um, he is a pretty big one, as you can see. Um, this one is the uh, Preparomia optusifola, also known as the baby rubber plant. He is extremely dry right now. I haven't had a chance to water him. But he does okay with not being watered once a week. I let him go completely dry between watering. And once I water him, I, um, he perks right back up. As you can see, the dirt is very dry. Let's go to the, I have two Peperoma Caparata. One is the silver one. It's nice and full. And here's the um, red one. I had just recently repotted him into this one. He's going through a little shock right now. Uh, this one, I noticed that the more light you give it, the redder it turns. I thought it's gonna stay really bright red, but I found out, no, it doesn't. It, it needs more light for it to uh, get the darker red. Sort of a little flower, but I um, they're mainly for the foliage, as you can see. Here's that other peperomia, and I'm really bad with names, so I am not gonna even try to pronounce it. He looks like a little taco. Uh, he is bending towards uh, the other way because he was trying to reach for the, the light. So uh, I haven't been very diligent on turning them as often as, it, as I'm supposed to. Okay. 
And here's a peperomia. I believe this one is the rainbow peperomia. Rainbow Guinea Peperomia. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. As you can, when you get in closer, you see these brown dots on the leaves. If you start noticing little brown spots all over your leaf, check your plants out right away. I found out that the thrips have gotten to them, and I did. This is how it looks. I did treat it um, with some neem oil and a little bit of the mild soap. And um, he's been treated twice. Hopefully he'll bounce back and hopefully the thrip is um, killed, I guess. I hate saying the word killed, but he's pretty pretty. He's got the cream color and the green and the pink edging. And uh, I love the leaves, but um, yeah, he's he. I gotta keep a close eye on him, and this guy too, the silver one. He's he's got a little bit of thrip, as you can see here. Well, he's been treated already. This is just the um, the damage that it caused. Okay, so we went through this one, these two, this guy. The rainbow one. Let's start with this one. He is a Peperomia Scandens variegated. So it's um, it's got the heart leaf shape with the green center and the, the lining on the outside is um, white. Some of the stems, the branch is a little pink. That's how he looks like on top. So it's a Peperomia Scandin Variegata. Let's go to this guy. This one I don't have the name. All I know is a Peperomia. It's in the Peperomia family. And it's called Baby's Tears or something like that. And it does trail. As you can see, it trails all the way down. He needs to be watered. Um, I haven't watered him. That's why his leaves are a little bit droopy. Okay, let's go to this one. This Peperomia, I believe I showed you guys before. I think it's called the Peperomia Parallel. I finally repotted him. Here's this guy.
let's go back here this is a peperomia optus optusifola um, marble I love the leaves it's got that marbling te uh, not textured um, color Look how beautiful he is. It's very glossy. I haven't wiped the leaves quite yet, but he is still pretty glossy. Check out this one. It's almost like gray or blue, isn't it? Here's another peperomia. This one used to have the green, dark green in the center. And a lighter on the uh, outside. But um, again, this one has some thrip issues. As if you, if you look closer, you see those tiny little dots. And then when you see that in your plant, you want to make sure you check on the underside. Um, uh, for bugs, but uh, he's been treated already a couple of times. Let's talk about this one. I don't have this the name for this one, but I know they call it the raindrop. Peperomia, as you can see, look how beautiful the shape of this leaf is. It's very thick and fleshy, like the um, like the Pilea peperomioides. It feels like that the texture, and it's nice and glossy. Isn't that like a beautiful leaf? It's got some new growth. If you do know the, the name of this one, please leave me a comment and uh, let me know. Check out how big that one is. This has got some damage, but I think he's an older leaf. I'm waiting for this guy to get a little bit taller so I can cut him and try to propagate him and make more plants. another um, Peperomia obtusifola variegata, I think. He's got some new growth. Some of the older leaves are starting to turn brown, but I don't want to cut them off. I'd rather just let it fall off or... All right, so the next one will be this little guy. I believe he is Peperoma prostrata. Um, this leaf looks like baby turtles, or they call them turtle vines or something like that. Um, as you can see, some of the leaves are very small, and the one next to it are much bigger. 
I forgot I ordered one from uh, Amazon and the other one was from a uh, cutting from a friend um, on YouTube and I just kind of mixed the two together I love this guy so much I can't wait to find a really big one See if I can bring him out. I like this guy a lot. Very, he's very delicate. Here's another peperomia. I don't know what the name of this one is. When I went to Swamp Meet a couple weekends ago, I found this. It's just one single leaf. And I paid, what, $6 or $8 for it? Because I wanted a pepper, uh, watermelon peperomia so bad. I was dying for one so bad. Last year I searched and searched and there's none here in San Diego. I finally, this year I ordered a small baby one and didn't make it. it was, when I say baby, it was tiny, tiny. And it was just struggling. And um, a week before my birthday, um, my husband and I was uh, out house hunting and we came across Anderson Nursery. And you know me, if I see a nursery, I can't, can't resist. So when I walked in, this is what I would I found. Yes. I thought I was dreaming when I saw this. I was like, uh, is this true? I finally found you. I've been wanting the a big peperomia like this forever. And he answered my prayers and gave me the best present ever. This is a pretty big plant, guys. I think it's in about a six inch pot. I did take a couple of leaf off of him to make some new cuttings so I can share it with my friends. Actually, my patients and my friend. <laughs> Check this out, and isn't this like magnificent? I love it so much. I have it sitting in my um, uh, in my bedroom, um, by the closet, and I am just here's a two new baby leaves coming out. I am just in love with this plant. And when it went in, I saw like five. I should have bought three. I don't know why I bought only one. Sometimes I can be a little bit greedy when it comes to plants. So I think I kind of told myself, just take one and leave some for others to enjoy. But um, I did go back yesterday and they were completely gone. Pretty big. Look 
how big he is. I did purchase um, a couple new plants, but um, I think, well, I purchased uh, this one. Let me just show you since I'm here. Check out this begonia and look at the leaf. I got him at Anderson Nursery and he was a pretty small guy and now he is just taking off so the new leaves that come out has a little pink shimmer to it as you can see and then it gets this And here's the begonia escargot. He's doing good. He's got some new leaves. Uh, since I'm over here, I'll just show you real quick. My fireplace, just a collection of all kinds of plants my Hoya Bella. Rig rag. I guess that's it. I did buy another, no, I bought two snake plants, but I guess I'll do another um, video here um, of, the new, of the new plants. I'll just show you guys real quick. I finally uh, potted my monsteria. I took two cuttings and it had some nice roots and finally put it up. Here's my Hoya pubicalix. All right, so I guess that's it for now. So this is all of my peperomias. I did kill a couple. Um, again, I'm not a plant specialist or anything like that. I am, I am just sharing my love for all things plant. So please don't kill me if I did pronounce some of the name wrong. And if you do know some of the names to uh, the peperomias I've shown you. Please let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. Um, I can definitely do another video on just the Sansevieria. 
alone. I do have a small little collection of that and and Hoyas. Um, I also wanted to say um, Peperomias are uh, native to Florida, Car Caribbean, and also Mexico. Um, they like well-drained soil. Some Peperomias need a little bit more moisture than other others. Um, so just kind of read up on it before uh, you go and purchase a plant. And, um, you know, we try to take care of it the best we can. And again, some make it and some don't. But this is my little collection here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. I love reading your comments. And um, it's just so wonderful to be able to share um, the love of plants and just anything of nature. Um, and uh, thank you again for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Now you guys go out there. Plant a little love. Be respectful. Be kind to one another. Take care. Bye.